most of the thousands of spectators expected Saturday at Canalside are coming for the novelty of witnessing a new warship become part of America's Navy. Others will carry out official duties. And still others will try and make a case for a future Navy ship to be named in honor of Buffalo. Former Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus, who started a tradition by keeping the former USS Little Rock's name alive by bestowing it on the Navy's newest ship, will also be present. The Navy's new USS Little Rock in Lake Erie with the Buffalo skyline behind it on Monday, December 4, 2017, Derek G. Slash the Buffalo News. Mabus selected Jenny Bonner, of Alabama, to be the ship's sponsor. Her husband, a former member of Congress from Alabama, had been supportive of the Navy's decision to allow for dual contractors to build literal combat ships at shipyards in Alabama and Wisconsin. The role I play with the Navy is to give the come alive order, and the actual phrase is officers and crew of USS Little Rock man our ship and bring her to life, Bonner said. The crew responds, I, I ma'am, and run aboard the ship. It's a Navy tradition. Crew getting USS Little Rock ship shape for arrival in Buffalo Monday. Two years ago, she christened the new ship with a bottle of champagne when it was launched from the shipyard in Marinette, Wisconsin, into the Menominee River, which connects to Lake Michigan. Bonner will arrive here carrying on the sponsor's tradition of presenting the ship with a gift. Her gift recognizes both the new Little Rock and the former Little Rock. I commissioned a graphic artist to do a print of the new Little Rock and superimpose it over the old Little Rock in Buffalo, she said. I am giving the original to the ship and copies to the commanders. After more than four years of construction, the $440 million warship arrived in Buffalo last week and docked beside the retired Little Rock at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park. That set the stage for a first in the Navy's 242 years a new ship to be commissioned beside its namesake. USS Little Rock's Buffalo arrival gives the crowd a show. For a ship this size, it usually attracts 4,000 to 5,000 spectators for a commissioning, but with numbers here reaching 9,000, it shows Western New York's love and support for the military, said Navy CMDR. Paul Burkhart who served as new ship's first skipper while it was in the final phases of construction. Normally, a third of those issued free tickets are no-shows at most ship commissioning ceremonies, Navy officials say. But given the number of tickets distributed in record time, optimism abounds that Canalside will overflow with spectators. Who's coming Burkhart, a native of the Rochester area, said he has invited 25 members of his family and friends. They're excited to see the introduction of the newest literal combat ship coming into the fleet here in Buffalo, he said. Most of them have never seen a commissioning. The new USS Little Rock, known as LCS-9, is part of a class of warships that can cruise in waters as shallow as 14 feet, hit speeds of 45 knots and swap out its armaments at sea, depending on what the combat mission requires. The new nameplate glistens from the bridge Ewing on LCS-9, the future USS Little Rock.